Brian Abel here with your 7 Action News headlines. Michigan State Police say they've made several arrests in connection with a freeway shooting that killed a two-year-old boy. It happened Thursday night on I-75 near McNichols in Detroit. The victim has now been identified as Bryson Christian. His older brother, nine-year-old BJ, was also shot in the arm. A vigil for the victim is being held Saturday night near the scene of that shooting. To Inkster now, where a teenager is in critical condition following a Friday night shooting. Police say the victim and several friends were sitting in a car on Brentwood Street near Cherry Hill when someone drove by in an SUV and began shooting. MSP says a 13-year-old was hit. Investigators are working to identify a suspect. A network of activists has set out to help the Detroit community and prevent simple traffic stops. Michigan Liberation held a brake light clinic on Saturday, bringing in volunteer mechanics to fix brake lights for free. The group focuses on criminal justice reform, specifically ending cash bail. Michigan Liberation says historically a broken taillight has been a justification to pull over and search cars, often adding to the cash bail problem, which impacts communities of color at a greater rate. And a new street sign unveiled on Detroit's west side Saturday. A portion of West Outer Drive at Monica Street has been renamed Marvin Gaye Drive. The new street sign is right outside Marvin Gaye's old Detroit home. The Motown Museum hosted Saturday's ceremony and says it's a celebration marking 50 years since the release of the legendary What's Going On album. Let's get a check of our forecast now with Mike Taylor. Mike. Hey, thanks, Brian. Here's a look at what you need to know. We have some showers and storms passing through this evening. Father's Day looks okay initially with the hot and humid conditions, but then storms will be a possibility by Sunday night. So for the rest of tonight, once the skies settle down, I'm thinking it'll calm down for good, at least for this evening or after midnight. Lows are going to be in the 60s and the 50s.